aircraft, when a Vietnam vet sees it, uh, one of the guys who was here when we brought it in went up and hugged it. I mean, that's how much it means to them. The community came together to make this happen, and I know they'll come together to, uh, to make sure that uh, the Huey gets to its uh, permanent resting place. There is a push to give the helicopter used to help save lives during the Vietnam War a permanent home in Punta Gorda. NBC2 Samantha Serban from your Charlotte County News Team reports on the efforts to keep this piece of history in town. This Vietnam Huey isn't going anywhere fast. Right now, it's grounded here at the Military Heritage Museum, but with a little help, it can find its new home at the Vietnam Wall of Southwest Florida. This is a 1970 Huey helicopter. It is the iconic aircraft of the Vietnam War. Retired Major General Richard Carr served four tours of duty in Vietnam. He knows a thing or two about the aircraft. In Vietnam, jungles and mountains and the delta with the bogs, very difficult transportation. So the Huey was the primary method to get folks around. Now in his retirement, Carr serves as the president of the Vietnam Wall of Southwest Florida, continuing his service by honoring those he served with. So let's face it, right now the Vietnam War is kind of sliding out of history and not a lot of people know a lot about it. He's working on bringing the Huey to Lashley Park, placing it within the outline of these flags next to the 58,318 names of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Many took their final breaths in a Huey. And these aircraft, when a Vietnam vet sees it, uh, <laughs> one of the guys who was here when we brought it in went up and hugged it. I mean, that's how much it means to them. And a visitor to Punta Gorda drove up and he wanted to climb in, so we opened it up, he climbed in, he started crying. Right now, the chopper is under the care of the Military Heritage Museum. They're raising money to move the iconic aircraft. It'll take at least $35,000. The community came together to make this happen, and I know they'll come together to, uh, to make sure that uh, the Huey gets to its uh, permanent resting place. This Huey doesn't have an engine anymore, but veterans say it has heart and would mean the world to be moved to its final home. In Panagorda, Samantha Serban, NBC2.